In this video we're going to cover an extensive guide for how to use Bridge specifically for UE4. I'm going to show you how to navigate around Bridge, how to download assets, how to install Megascans plugin, and how to export assets, both textures and 3D models from Bridge directly into UE4. So we're going to cover a lot of things for basically how to get started using Bridge for Unreal Engine 4. So let's begin. So once you've downloaded and installed Bridge and you're logged in with your Epic Games account, everything inside Bridge, every asset will be free for you to use with Unreal Engine 4. And the first thing you want to do is go to Edit, Settings, and define your local library path. By default, it will be pointing to your C drive. And like me, you may want to change it to another drive because this is where all your Megascan library assets that you download from Bridge will be stored in. And they will begin to take up a lot of space, especially when you begin to collect them and have very many of them. So you want to have a hard drive that has a lot of space. So I have mine stored on my D drive and then I created Megascan's library folder. And this is where Bridge will store all downloaded assets. And then you want to set your DCC or engine. So in our case, we're only going to be using it for Unreal Engine 4. So you want to go ahead and select it. And once I click save, you will see that Bridge will begin to download Unreal Exporter plugins. And we're going to need that later. But right now, this is going to be your first step. So first I'm going to show you how to download and export surfaces or textures. Right at the top I'm going to search for a material that I want to look for. A type of surface. So I'm going to type in sand. And then we're going to get everything that has been tagged with a keyword sand. Surfaces, 3D assets, decals and so on. So you can further filter using these drop down menus. But I'm not going to go that deep into it. They're very self explanatory. And I already see a surface that I like, this sand right here. So I'm going to left click on it so we can take a look at it. We'll get a preview window pop up. And here on the bottom, we have three different view options that we can cycle in between. And I'm going to make this preview screen larger so we can see it better. Right at the very top, you can view maps. You can take a look at 3D view. Let's go ahead and exit out. Hit escape. And uh, after looking at this, yeah, I like the sand, I like the surface, and I want to go ahead and use it. First, we need to download it. I'm going to click over to download settings. And here we can choose texture resolution that we want to download at, material preset for a specific game engine or software. And based on what you choose here, we'll get a different check for different texture types. But before we do any of this, we really should define a global download setting that will apply for this texture, for this surface, and all future surfaces. So click on global download settings to open up the menu. And here on the left hand side, we can choose global download settings for a specific asset type. We have surfaces, 3D models, 3D vegetation, atlases, decals, and so on. For right now, we want to define it just for surfaces. So for texture resolution, I want 4K, material preset, Unreal 4, and the default textures that are going to be downloaded, I'm going to keep them at default at what the material preset is. And if we need to add something extra or specific, then we can do so per specific surface. But this is going to be our global settings for everything we download, and then we can tweak it per surface later, whenever we need to. Let's go ahead and exit. And now we can download. Once you've downloaded, you'll see export settings pop in. This is only available for assets you have downloaded and stored on the computer. Now it will be grayed out, so you won't be able to export just yet, because we need to install the plugins. And before we do that, let's download a few more assets, a few more surfaces. You will also see this blue check mark appear on the downloaded asset. This means that you've acquired it and it is currently stored on your computer. So let's look for more sand. I'm going to filter down further to surfaces, then sand, and desert. And I can left click on each to see the preview. And then I'm going to start liking the ones that I may want to download. And we already have this one. 
because we have a blue check mark and a green check mark. This means that I've acquired it before, but I don't have it stored locally on this machine. So I've actually downloaded these on a different computer and it's just showing me that I have gotten them before. So instead of downloading right away, I'm going to collect a set of different sand, different assets, and then it will pick and choose which ones I actually want to download. And to see all of your liked surfaces or assets, on the left hand side menu, go to favorites and all the liked assets will appear here. And this way I can look through and see which ones I want to download. And I like the first two. So to quickly download the ones that you want, just simply hit the download icon at the top right of each asset right here. And this is a quicker way to begin downloading many assets. And because we've set up global download settings for surfaces, texture resolution, material preset, and all the texture maps will be kept the same. So we know exactly what we're going to get. And we will also do the same thing for 3D models. So wait until everything is downloaded. And the green check marks will turn to blue. That means we have them locally on this machine now. And if you go under purchased, this will show you all the assets you've acquired under this account. So here I have just a few. And if you want to see what's stored locally on this machine, go to local and under mega scans. Let's go back to favorites and I'm going to untag all the ones that we liked. And again, I only use favorites as a way to filter and decide what I may want to download. And remember, under edit settings, inside this directory is where all your downloaded assets are being stored. Now let's go ahead and export. If you click on each asset, the export icon will be grayed out. Now the reason we cannot export is because we have not installed Unreal Engine 4 Megascans exporter. Let's click over to export settings. Here we can define texture resolution that we want to export at, texture format, which engine or software to export to, and if you click on this question mark, you can read the documentation on how to do so, but you don't need to because I'm about to show you how. And then we can also define which version of Unreal Engine 4 we want to export to. Now, instead of defining this per asset, we should define this globally, so it applies to every asset from this point on. So I'm going to click on Global Export Settings, and I want to define this for surfaces. But you can also define the export settings for other type of assets as well. So I'm going to choose Surfaces, and you got some advanced settings, which I haven't touched. So for surfaces, the texture resolution I want to export is going to be 4K, and texture format, JPEG is fine. And now we need to install Megascans plugin so we can actually export from Bridge into UE4. So I want to export to Unreal Engine. Engine version, I'm using 4.25. And then I want to choose installation folder where to install the plugins. And for this, you have to navigate into the installation of Unreal Engine 4.25. So click on select folder. And I'm going to navigate into C Drive, Program Files, Epic Games, and UE underscore 425. And it's important that you have Unreal Engine 4 closed. So make sure to shut down any UE4 editors you have open. And here, just click on Select Folder. And as soon as you do that, you will see the plugins being installed. And this directory will change and point into the plugins folder. You could also define project location. This would export everything from Bridge into a specific project of your choice. But I'm not going to choose this here. And instead, I want to export into whatever project I have opened at the moment. So I will leave this blank. But you can choose a specific project on your computer to export to. Now we can close this menu and the export button will be available and we can now begin to export. And if you navigate into the installation folder of UE4, the version that you installed the plugins into, so in my case it's 4.25, then go inside Engine, Plugins. Here is the Megascans plugin that was installed. And now if you launch any UE4 project, specifically the version of UE4 that you installed 
the plugin for. So in my case it was 4.25 and I just launched Desert's project. And here at the very top of the toolbar, you'll have a new Megascans plugin icon up here. If you left click on it, a menu will pop up and these are the settings for the Megascans plugin. I'm not going to change anything here and I'm going to use the defaults. So let's go ahead and export our first asset, our first surface. I'm going to export this bright desert sand with it selected and all the export settings set up, especially the global export settings. I'm going to click on export. You will see the notification pop up that it's exporting to Unreal Engine. And here's the important part. Whatever UE4 project you currently have open, this is where the exported asset is going to be exported into. So make sure you open the correct UE4 project that you want this asset to go into. And this is going to apply for surfaces, for 3D meshes, or for any other asset. And once it's done, if we go back into UE4, we will have a new Megascans folder with the subfolder of surfaces. And here is our exported surface. Here you'll have all the texture maps and the material instance. There will also be another folder called MS Presets. And then here you'll find the actual material from which the M material instance is created from. So you can take a look at that to see what the actual material looks like. Let's go ahead and add two more surfaces. I'm going to jump back into a Quixel bridge and instead of left clicking and seeing the preview for each asset, once you download it, you can quickly export from this preview, from this thumbnail, by clicking on this icon right here. And because we've already set up the global export settings for surfaces, we know what size texture maps and the file format that is going to be. So there's no guessing and there's no wondering. I know exactly what I'm going to get. And exporting from here on out is very quick and very simple. And if I jump back into UE4 project, which is again open by the way, so everything is exported into that project, here are the two extra surfaces. Let me also show you how to do this for 3D assets, for 3D models. I'm going to search for a skull, since this is a desert project, I think this will look pretty good. I'm going to left click on it, this will bring up the preview. Here you can take a look at the texture maps, and take a look at the 3D preview. You can take a look at the scale of this asset, and if it's open or closed, meaning that it doesn't have open edge faces, or if it's completely sealed, and this one is closed. Now, since this is our first 3D asset, before we download, I need to define download settings. So these settings right here are per asset, and if you wanted to override the global download settings, you would change it here per specific asset. But first we want to define global download settings so it applies to every mesh and then we can tweak and change the download options per asset later if we need to. So I'm going to scroll down and click on global download settings. So I'm already under 3D model asset type, mesh format I want FBX, material preset Unreal 4, and texture resolution 4K. There are a bunch of other options here such as the level of detail. This will download additional models to include full level of detail. And some of these might be too much depending on the project, but I'm going to go ahead and keep everything default. And if I need to change anything, I can do it per mesh in the previous menu. So everything here is going to stay as is. I'm going to X out. And here, let's go ahead and download. All right, once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and export. But before we export, we need to set up our global export settings just once. Again, on this screen, we can control it per mesh if we want to change anything. That's going to override the global export settings. And this will be on the asset by asset basis. So I'm going to click on global export settings. And I'm already under 3D models asset type. And I have texture resolution at 4K, texture format, JPEG, mesh format, FBX, and mesh LOD at LOD0. This means that the base mesh will be LOD0, and that's what I want. I have export 2 set to Unreal Engine, 
and engine version to 4.25. And I already installed the Megascans plugin, which appears here. So everything looks good. I'm gonna exit out. And now let's export. Notification will pop up telling me it's exporting currently. And again, make sure you have a specific project open so Quixel Bridge knows which UE4 project to export into. And if I jump back over into my UE4 project, the mesh has been imported. It does have an error telling me no smoothing groups are found in this FBX file, which is fine. I didn't create the mesh. And if there's any problems, I'll be able to see it once I drag it into the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And you'll see we have a new subfolder within Megascans folder called 3D Assets. And inside it here is our skull. I'm going to go ahead and drag this mesh right into the scene. And let's take a look. And it's looking pretty good. The error that popped up, I don't see any visible issues. So I'm just going to ignore it. And this mesh is ready to be used. It already has a material applied. All the textures are hooked up. And I didn't have to do anything other than download it, define a few settings, and then export it. Very quick, very simple. And it's actually pretty amazing how quickly you get high quality meshes and high quality surfaces with just a few clicks. So at this point you can go back to Quixel Bridge, look for more 3D assets, download them, and once they're downloaded, quickly export them. Since you already have global export settings set up, you don't even need to look at the preview you can do it all from the quick preview thumbnail. But if you need to take a look at the scale of the mesh to see if it's open or closed, or if you need to override any of the global settings to download or to export, just click on the mesh and go through the settings per mesh. And for the last part of this video, you can manually install the Megascans plugin. So if during this step, when we go through and install the Megascans plugin and it doesn't do it automatically for you, you can do it manually. So first make sure you have UE4 editor closed. Then go into the Megascans library folder into the location where we set up in the very beginning. In my case it'll be inside D drive and Megascans library. Then go inside support, plugins, Unreal, 5.7. And I'm guessing this number might change depending on the bridge version you're using. But in my case, currently, it's 5.7. Then into latest, win, and Unreal Engine 4 version that I need the Megascan plugins for. In this case, it's 4.25. And this folder is the plugin. So you want to copy this folder and then navigate into the installation folder of Unreal Engine into 4.25 version or whatever version you're installing the plugin into. Again, in my case, it's 4.25. So by default, Unreal Engine is installed inside C Drive, Program Files, Epic Games, and then you'll have your UE4 version folder. So I'm going to go inside 4.25, into Engine, and Plugins. And inside this folder is where you would paste the Megascans plugin folder that you copied from the Megascans library folder. Now, I already have this folder because we installed the plugins, but this is where you would paste that folder in. And then when you launch your UE4 project or start a new project, you would have to enable the plugin. And to do that, go to Settings, Plugins, and search for Megascans. And then you would enable it here. And this would probably require a restart, but once you do, the icon right here will appear. So that's how you would install the Megascans plugin manually. And that's it. Using Bridge for UE4 is very simple. It just takes a little bit to get started, since this is a very new workflow you're probably not used to. But hopefully this tutorial showed you how to get started. Thanks for watching, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.